Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. This is Running On Empty Food Review. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and we had just brightened up the video very, very, eh, very tiny bit. Hopefully to everyone's uh, benefit. Let's get right into things today. Let's, let's make this review... Um, one where we just, this is going to be action-packed. We're just going to leap into it. We're going to get in on the action right away. We've got the water chalice creeping into the frame. We got everything. Let's get right into it. It's back, ladies and gentlemen. It's back. It's here. It might not be better than ever. It might actually be the worst thing I've ever eaten because I haven't tried it yet. Um, but all that we know for sure is that Little Caesars has brought back their $7 Cheezer Cheezer Pizza. Now, believe it or not, they had this uh, out earlier in the year. I think it was around March or April. A lot of people didn't really know they released it back then because it was a very distracting time, of course, with, um, you know, the first wave of, of uh, COVID hitting and everything was kind of different. And I think everyone was just a bit distracted. No one was really talking about the fact that they had the cheeser, cheeser pizza out back then. Um, but I was. I tried it out and I sat there like a bumbling idiot for 14 minutes calling it the cheesier, cheesier pizza. I called it the wrong name the entire review, um, but it's back. What exactly is it? Uh, it is a large pepperoni pizza with fresh mozzarella cheese, sweet basil, uh, it has a toasted Asiago crust. You get the large pizza for $7. Uh, of course, Little Caesars is a bit of an economy pizza place, um, but sometimes it's like, well, you get what you pay for in other instances, you struck gold, and it's a really good, uh, inexpensive, you know, but delicious meal at that. Uh, when I last tried this earlier in the year, I was saying I enjoyed that it had, at least as perceived by me, fresher ingredients at a good price. Uh, at the time, I gave it a 7.4 out of 10, so it was definitely a bit above average. But we're gonna try, uh, we're gonna try it out again, um, because now I think you know more people have a little bit of time to you know, just see what's going on and uh, probably a better time to release a new item. So uh, we'll see how it is. We'll see if it's better, if it's worse, if it's just the same. We'll go from there. Um, they still have their delivery delivery box right there. They're promoting the, uh, the delivery, which is understandable. They say it's baked at 475 degrees. See, I told you, this is like an action movie. You saw that. Um, here I am with it, and we'll just do this for... Um, the sake of a thumbnail or something, uh, just to get that out of the way, and then we'll just go right into the uh, the review. There I am with it, smiling or doing whatever. Um, but you can definitely see there's a pizza. Close up shot of it. You can definitely see the mozzarella cheese, the pepperoni, um, large pizza there. Now let's grab a slice. Let's grab. This slice right here. All right. Here's a close-up view of it. You can see greasy pizza, but um, hopefully good. You can see the basil on it. You can see some of the mozzarella, and you can see the crust as well. So with that, you know what's on it. I know what's on it. We all know what's on it. Let's see how good it is this time around. The cheeser. I almost messed up. The cheeser cheeser pizza from Little Caesars going in. Before I fully get into the review, I um, should also mention, for those of you interested in my talk podcast that I do, uh, there's going to be a new episode coming out soon, so stay tuned. It's going to be about two, three hours long, you know, mix of discussion and a lot of good stuff. 
Uh, I'm editing it right now, but it'll be out in the next couple days, so stay tuned. Take another bite or two, try out the crust, and then we'll just get to the assessment. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm going to pause this real quick. I have grease all over my fingers and I forgot my napkins. I'll be right back. All right, we are back with uh, cleaner hands now. I got to say, I enjoyed it the last time. Um, but it's even better this time around. I, I say that uh, with complete confidence. Uh, it is it is even better than it, than it was the last time this time around. Again, it's just I really like it. It is not something necessarily for those of you who are you know, trying to have a more balanced diet. It's a greasy, oily pizza. Um, you have the oil coming out of the the mozzarella um, cheese, but boy, is it good. Uh, everything just blends together, and again, that freshness aspect that was there the last time is definitely prevalent again this time, but I don't know, it just tastes even even better this time around. Um, the one thing that I like, as always, is that that mozzarella cheese, so rich, so flavorful. Mm, that's just really good right there. The pepperoni, there's a good amount of it. You know, it's salty, but a little bit of spice there, too, of course. The tomato sauce really ties everything together, too. Uh, just that robust that strong, robust tomato sauce that they have over there at Little Caesars. Uh, they do a fantastic job with that. And overall, it's just, you know, then you eat it all the way down to the crust, you try that, and you can just taste, you know, that, that Parmesan, um, the toasted Asiago you know, Parmesan crust there. Which again, I don't know, it's just flavorful. I'll actually show it to you, and I didn't notice this the last time when I reviewed it, but it seems to me like there's actually more of the uh, cheese on the crust this time around, because when I bit into that, I was like, wow, this is this is flavorful. It's more flavorful than I remembered it, and I thought that it was pretty flavorful the last time. So yeah, I gotta say, it's a good pizza. Um, definitely, when you consider that this is from Little Caesars, that you get this large pizza, again, I think just very fresh, very tasty, um, for just seven bucks. Uh, it is, and the last time we tried it, it was pretty good. This is an improvement from the last time. It's definitely a step above their standard uh, average takeout pizza. Bear that in mind, but it's still at a good affordable price. You can get it delivered um, right to your door. You don't even need to go out to get it, which uh, is a win-win in my book. So yeah, better quality uh, at a good price. Absolutely. Uh, I like it. I'm happy with it. I'm satisfied with it. So out of 10, I gave it a 7.4 out of 10 the last time, um, but I'm going to bump up the rating this time around to an 8.0 out of 10. Uh, just a definite improvement. Even though it's already a good thing, they took a good thing and they made it better, which is fantastic to see. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all that I have for you. I'm your host of the Report of the Week. Today's review was for the Cheezer Cheezer Pizza from Little Caesars. A good pizza at a good value. That's all for now. Take care, be safe, be healthy wherever you are.